for us in the embellished version of 25, 20-5. Our company applies overhead to jobs on the basis of machine hours used. Overhead costs are expected to total $305,000 for the year. Machine usage is estimated at 125,000 hours. For the year, 322,000 of overhead costs were really incurred and 130,000 hours were really worked. Compute the manufacturing overhead rate for the year. Could you say the formula for me at warp speed, please? Estimated overhead per year Good. divided by estimated activity rate. Estimated overhead for the whole year divided by an estimated activity base for the whole year is a whole lot of words that we could boil down to a one word numerator and a one word denominator. Could I have some help here? From Witt's good description, estimated overhead for the whole year. Cost divided by units? It's not quite it. It's got to be one of the words that was here already. Matt, the most important word in that numerator is? Dollars? I don't think I heard dollars. Overhead. It's got to be one of the words we use. <laughs> estimated overhead for the whole year. Pick one of those. Overhead. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Once you've heard the, the formal description, do we have to say estimated overhead for the whole year every time we talk about this? No. A after I've got you on my side here, then could we just say the numerator is overhead? Now, estimated activity for the whole year is activity. Let's divide overhead by an activity. Can you find me the two numbers I need to use in this problem? If you know them, say them. Speed the tape up a little bit. 305,000. 305,000 was overhead for the whole year. Right. And 125,000 hours. 125,000 we expected the machine to work all year long. If you don't have calculators out, would you get them out and participate? You'll learn them. Anybody got me this number? 2.44%. Aaron? Yes? 2.44%. Sam? Yeah. Yes. 2.44. Everybody else? Nobody's objecting. Mm -hmm. It is not 2.44%. 244 percent. What, what is it? $2.44. It is $2.44, cents, but because of the nature of this, we have to label it. If we divide oranges by oranges, we get a percent. If we divide dollars by dollars, we get a percent. If we divide hours by hours, we get a percent. If we divide like things, we get a percent. If we divide unlike things, then it is our custom to explain how we got it. $2.44 per hour. Every hour the machine runs, we expect the cost to be $2.44. These miscellaneous costs. Indirect materials, indirect labor, property taxes, depreciation, all those lumped into one. About $2.44 every time the machine runs an hour. So, we're going to embellish five. We're going to do what the book says to do, but we're going to do these things too. This is not in the book. Make me an entry to apply overhead to production for January when actual costs were $28,000 and 11,750 machine hours were used. You may tell me account titles. You may tell me amounts. You may tell me neither or both, but tell me something. A German? Wit? Debit manufacturing overhead. And credit? Work in progress. Four. Twenty-eight thousand. I don't. I don't know when this is going to be appropriate, but I thought of it right now. If I don't do it while I think of it, I'll lose it. You won't get to see it. Let's play double hangman. Who knows both words? Then keep quiet. 
<laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Wit. Pick a letter. A. <laughs> that probably picked up on the tape. <laughs> oh, C. <laughs> I, I didn't figure it out from her. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't figured out. You want off the hook? Is that what you're saying? Well, okay. I haven't figured out. Okay. Then somebody else who doesn't know picked me a letter. How am I gonna know that? You don't know. <laughs> What's this word, class? Everybody said? Actual. Actual. What's this word? Apply. Apply. When we debit manufacturing overhead, it's for the actual cost we incurred. Is that what we're trying to do right this minute? Yes or no? Yes. Is that what we're trying to do right this minute? No, I don't think so. It says make the entry to apply overhead to production. Are you with me? Yes or no? Yes. All week long, every problem we've done, we've had some miscellaneous costs to record. And we've been there and done that. Manufacturing overhead has something in it. We're talking about the estimate, the amount we're going to apply. Wit, did I hear in your entry credit manufacturing overhead or debit manufacturing overhead? Uh, I think I said debit. I think you did too. Which did you mean to say? Credit. It is a credit to manufacturing overhead and a debit to work in process for some number. If anybody's got a clue on which number I ought to use, I would love to talk to you right now, Matt. Uh, 20,607. How about 28,000? No, because we're going off the manufacturing overhead. What's this? That was the actual. Ah. I'm looking for a credit to manufacturing overhead. This is actual. It's already in that account. Right, Matt? Yes, sir. How did you get whatever you said? What did you say one more time? 28,607. Tell me how you got it. I multiplied the machine hours times our rate of 240. It says 11,750 machine hours were worked. Our rate is estimated to be $2.44 per hour. 11,750 times 244, Matt, is? 28,600. Who's with Matt and me right this minute? Let me see. In the discussion that Matt and I just had, in that conversation, we realize that actual cost from this paragraph are posted to this manufacturing overhead account. On the debit side, $28,000 of cost have been accumulated there. We just made a journal entry that needs to be posted to the credit side of this account. We're moving on down the list here. What problems does this create? Income summary rounds up information and allocates all of it. Zero balance. Factory labor rounds up some information, allocates all of it, zero balance. When we debit manufacturing overhead with actual, I'm so sorry I erased this, and credit it with applied, what are the chances the balance is going to come out to be zero? Do you see my point? Yes or no? Right now, the balance of this account is 670 debit or 670 credit. What you need to know is what we're going to do with that on a monthly basis and what we're going to do with it on an annual basis. So let's talk about what happens to manufacturing overhead monthly. It's an allocation account. Half of it's an estimate. Perhaps we missed our estimate. There's a word to describe a credit balance in this account. If you know the word, hold your hand up. I want to listen to you say it. Richard? Overstated. It's a, called overapplied. I give you credit for a right answer because you got me on the right track. If this is overapplied, what if the balance had been debit? How would we have described it? Everybody would say Under. underapplied. Now, that's logical. That's not memorization. That makes sense if you'll think about it. This number is larger than that one. That's over applied. If it were the reverse, if this number were larger, we'd say we didn't apply as much as we incurred, that'd be under applied. There's no need to memorize that if you understand it. And you should. On a monthly basis, we just carry that balance over. We're just going to assume it's going to work itself out sooner or later. We don't close it. Next month, it'll be different. This decision tree kind of 
describes the cause-effect relationship that I'm trying to get you to see in end of month and end of year solving this problem. How about, I've got extras if there weren't enough on your row. How about glancing at this decision tree with me? Are there enough, Shane, for you and Addison as well in the back row? Thank you very much. Are we preparing an annual financial statement? Hello? No. No. This is a monthly financial statement. What we do with this on a monthly financial statement depends on what its balance is. If it's got a debit balance, we show it on the balance sheet. Among the debits or among the credits. Among the debits that are deferrals, like supplies, prepaid insurance, other things that belong to the future, this one belongs to the future, among the debits in the asset section. If it's got a credit balance, it's going to go in the liability section with other things with a credit balance. It's not an earned revenue and it's not a prepaid expense. But that's where we put it. It's an unallocated cost. On a monthly financial statement, we just carry its balance over. It is over applied. It goes on the balance sheet. Among the liabilities where other things with credit balances go. It is not unearned revenue, but it goes in the same place where unearned revenue goes. Consider with me this situation at the end of the year. I'm reading the sentence just above the word instructions in exercise 20-5. For the year, 322,000 of overhead costs are incurred and 130,000 hours are used. So for the whole year, I've debited this account enough times with enough amounts to have $322,000 in it. Brandy says that's actual, and she's right. Could somebody help me find this number quickly, please? One more time. Can I have an auditor on that number, please? I asked for one and got one. Tell us how you got it, Dustin. I did the two dollars and forty-four cents multiplied by the one hundred thirty thousand hours. The machine ran one hundred and thirty thousand hours all year long. Our rate is two dollars and forty-four cents multiplied out, and you get this number. If you're with me right this minute, say yes. 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 And we're kind of where we were a minute ago, except the date is December thirty-first. So at the beginning of the day, I said I want to talk about what you do with manufacturing overhead at the end of a month and what you do with it at the end of the year. Because now, time's up. A little while ago, we still had the potential to allocate those costs in the future. But the, the timeline has ended. We've got to do something with it. And what you do with it, uh, first of all, find me the balance of that account. Anybody got done the math? Toby, what's the math? 4,800. 4,800 debit or credit? Um, debit. I need auditors on 4,800 debit. Right. I agree. Good. So let's decide how to describe that balance. Is that over applied or under applied? Say something. Under applied. Under applied. It's got a debit balance. A debit balance in manufacturing overhead is under applied. Now, what do we do with it? What we do with it is described on the decision tree. And unfortunately, I used an accounting word that's also a manufacturing word. Are we preparing annual financial statements? Say yes or no. Yes. Is this a material amount? There's where the confusion comes. This is not raw materials or direct materials or anything to do with manufacturing. This is related to professional judgment. Is the number we're referring to large or small in proportion to other things? And the answer to the question is we don't know. Is 4,800 large or small for Chrysler Corporation? Small. Small. If they came that close, they thought that it was right on the nose, if it was that accurate. 
is $4,800 large or small to the Avon lady? Yes. Yeah. 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 know who the Avon lady is. <laughs> I'm talking about the Avon lady that rings your doorbell. Yeah. What is that still uh, After class. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put this symbol on it for us. If it makes better sense. Is it large or small in proportion to other things? Well, let's talk about it's small. Well, remember the flow of costs through the accounts? Remember how they start out in raw materials and go to work in process and go to finished goods and go to cost of goods sold? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Where do you suppose... We've got manufacturing overhead that we've attempted to allocate to work in process and now we discover this was wrong, therefore this is wrong, but it's just a little bit wrong. We've been close. What we did all year long for 11 months was better than anything we could come up with. Better than actual, better than waiting until the end of the year. This was a good way for it to work. 11 months out of the year we were satisfied with this. But now the day of reckoning comes. We need to know what to do with this balance in manufacturing overhead. If it is small in material, where do you suppose most of the misstatement has wound up? Most of the goods we produced have been sold. We have very little, very few goods left. If it's small, just put it in cost of goods sold and be done with it. Is that what the decision tree says? Transfer the balance to cost of goods sold. Yeah. On the other hand, if it is large in proportion to other things, then everything that's been misstated needs to be restated. If it's large, then some of it that's still here is wrong, what's still here is wrong, what's still here is wrong. You are not responsible for what I'm about to say. But whatever this number is, and whatever this number is, and whatever this number is, some. That's three times you've seen that today. <laughs> Would be a good denominator for making your own fraction. Make a fraction for the portion of this that belongs in this account by making this the, denu the numerator over this denominator. I think sometimes in life we have to write our own fractions. Did you tune me out as soon as I said you're not responsible for this meeting on the test? But mm -hmm. would it hurt you to learn something that isn't on the test? And this numerator over that denominator times the balance of this account is going to go to finished goods. And this numerator over this denominator times the balance of manufacturing overhead goes to cost of goods sold. That's what the decision tree describes as prorate. Prorate the cost to the accounts affected to restate them to actual, in essence. Now, this that I just explained was in the seventh edition of this book, but is not in the eighth edition of this book. I would encourage you to go to the website if you're curious about reading it for reinforcement's sake. Go to the website and I put a little one page document there that would help you understand it. Reread what I just explained. Let's read what the author said about this. C. Assuming the underapplied or overapplied overhead for the year is not allocated to inventory, which is the author's way of saying, is material or immaterial? Is large or small? Is small, immaterial, insignificant, allocated, is not allocated to inventory. Prepare the adjusting entry to assign the amount to cost of goods sold. M manufacturing overhead had a debit balance. We're going to credit it to close it. We're going to transfer its balance to cost of goods sold. Who learned something today? Who understands manufacturing overhead better right this minute than when you walked in the room today? Hands up. Good. Let's do this.